I'm all for interracial dating. I encourage it. Black dude, you it's white girl, white, whatever. I'm do what you do. Love who you love. It's 2019. Racism is ridiculous. But I do feel like when I see black dudes date white girls, I just be wanting to make sure she's a authentic white, like a real white woman. Like I don't like when I see black dudes date white girls that act black. I'd be like, nigga, just get a black girl. Why are you? fucking with this generic off-brand white woman. If you're gonna go, why you got this great value white woman? If you're gonna go, go get the real deal, fam. If, if you see me with a white girl, I'm going all the way to Mayberry. I'm not fucking around. I'm not I want a black, white girl from a black neighborhood. She got the same problems I got. She don't really know her dad either. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm, I want all the white stuff I seen on TV. I want me a gluten-free, flip-flops in the rain, uh, pumpkin spice latte, make her own trail mix. I want feet on the dashboard, on car rides. I want her Facebook profile picture to be a puppy. I want her to <laughs> let the cat sleep in the bed with her. All the white shit that he do. That's what I want. I want. I want the real deal if I'm a go, fam. I don't want a white girl talking all black to me. Uh -uh, I'm babe on my mama. Yo, mama, no, bitch, you have a mother. I don't. You use your words around me. That's what you're here for. You don't. You don't have a mama. That's not no. I don't want to know nothing about hip hop. Basic question, she failed a test. Hey, babe, you like two chains? Yeah, I love jewelry. That type of shit, she... Because if you have two chains and lose one, you still have a whole nother chain, so who? It's two chains and two pox, that's what I like. The confusion on your face is what I want for my white woman. She's sitting there like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. This guy's brilliant. I'm, babe, give me two chains. I'm, our anniversary's coming up. I want to be the first black dude she ever seen in person. Like, I, she's only heard myths and tall tales about us. I want her to touch me like an African touching snow for the first time. talking so white when she start talking to me, her family stopped talking to her. Do you understand? <laughs> Just look disappointed. We did not raise her like this. I did, I, did, I, I like, I ain't gonna say I dated a while. I, we hung out <laughs> for a few weeks. I, I had to, I had to split. I don't like white woman hair. It's just, that's not my shit. I don't like it. You, that's what he said, that's why I'm here. I, Look at me, said me neither, dog. That's why I got Kaisha. That's a church clap, amen. You better preach, young man. I don't like the white girl. You know what I'm talking about? It sheds for no reason. White women hair shed, for, they don't gotta be wet. They don't gotta comb it. You know when you just leave a hug with a white girl, you see what the fuck is over there? You feel like you walk through a spider with it. You get hair from a white girl, you wanna shower, you clean the midsection off, and then you keep finding strands. It be all up and down. You see what the fuck? This bitch literally gave me her head. It's still. It's, it won't stop, fam. It's like Easter basket grass all over the pit. It won't stop, sirs. You lay in the bed, where to get out the bed, look at your pillow. All of this hair left on your pillow. All of this CSI evidence. Left all on your pillow, fam. That's why I love my sisters, my beautiful black African queens. That's right. Yes.
Black women got the common courtesy and decency to take their hair off. <laughs> when they hop in the bed with you. Oh, God. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> Were you scared the first time? Did it startle you? <laughs> he was, no, Ron, he was concerned. <sighs> that the first time, it'll, it'll, it'll mess you up, fam. When you don't know she had it on. Tell you something about, we don't know either. We just see this. And we don't know what the fuck is under there either. Till she take it off and you see that she got them 1996 Allen Iverson cornrows. She got these bitches. The Queen Latifah set it off, Brad, you know what I mean? The OG Bobby Johnson, thanks Ray Ray, she got them braids. Or she got one braid that wrap all the way around and stick up at the top like. She got the little candle wick at the top of the... When you don't know she had it on, that's the scariest part. I brought this girl home from the club. I go in the bathroom. I come out the bathroom. I see this, my same haircut, sitting on my bed. I went back in the bathroom. I called the police. I said, excuse me. So nigga here with my girl clothes on, officer. I don't, I don't know what happened to my bad bitch from the club, but he is here now. I heard this from the room. Is everything okay? And he got a voice down. This dude is a professional. Hey, what's up, party people? If you enjoy our YouTube videos, you definitely don't want to miss out on our Virtual Chocolate Sundays comedy show. We do it every Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, I'm your host, comedian Ron G, and we also got my man DJ Sidekick on the ones and twos. It's amazing, and you don't want to miss out. For more details, go to the description box and get all the information. Till then, don't block your blessing. We'll see you Sunday.